Hello there, welcome to devlog number 20. Uh, finally happening, I've been waiting months for this devlog. So I'm gonna get right into it. Before any character creation stuff, I wanna talk to you guys about a survey we're running. We want your guys' feedback. We wanna figure out what features you really want, what, fe what features you really could wait for, or don't want at all. So please take the survey, uh, it's at the top of the description. Uh, it would mean a lot to us because we're trying to figure out how we can uh, speed up these updates, taking out some stuff that we would like to do, but you guys don't necessarily care to have, or you'd rather have that thing before this thing, that kind of deal, you know, prioritizing stuff. Uh, so we want to get you guys' opinion on that. Thank you. So some of you are going to be wondering, what happens to my character data? Am I losing any stats? Am I losing anything? No, you're going to log straight in to this screen. I'm probably going to disappear soon. Uh, you're going to log into this screen, and what will happen is you're just get your you, all your characters will just be reincarnated off the bat upon login. So you'll just be able to recreate your character right away, um, making it simpler for you. You just log in and you get to recreate a character. All right. So to start off, you'll log in, and as you can see, to continue, you must complete character creation. Press V to enter character creation. Mind you, that's just the default control. You might have changed it. Press V, it will open up here, and you'll be greeted with this screen. Welcome to Dragon Block Apollo. This is the character creation menu. Here you start by choosing your race. The stats displayed on the left side of your screen are the bonuses given for each point in an attribute. As you can see over here, you have each attribute, or sorry, each um, point thing. Not They're not necessarily attributes. Uh, these stats are not massively gameplay changing. Pick the race you prefer to play as. Every race has the same amount of forms, the same amount of care and attention given to it. You know, we try to keep every race as best balanced as it can be, so one isn't objectively the only race to play. Like a lot of Dragon Ball games, you might only play Saiyan because they have eight forms and everyone else has like two and a visual power up or uh, just a buff, no visual change. We try to do our best here for that. Um, so you can see all the stats over here. If you hover over. It'll tell you increasing the strength statistic will increase melee damage stat by 2.9. That's uh, the blue number right there. They're color coded, providing a potential max output of 290,000 with the 100,000 stat cap. So assuming you had strength at 100,000, you'd have 290,000 melee damage for this class. You can see all of those here. Boom, boom, boom. You can switch through the class. Okay. You can come over here and switch your race. You see they slide around real nice. Shout out to Rook for that. That was some interesting cosine math. Uh, I suck at math. He doesn't, so he helped me out greatly with this. Um, you can see as we rotate through, we can see some of the characters. For some of these characters, or for some of you, this might be your first time ever seeing these new designs. So you can see the humans here. Obviously, human Saiyan uh, share the same kind of body type. Um, the Mechians have little fins that I'll show you that in more detail later. Um, Kojians, we're gonna. Well, you know, we're going to go through every single race. So the video will be segmented. If you look down at the timeline bar on YouTube, you'll see it's segmented, right? Uh, with that in mind, feel free to skip around to whatever race you're most interested in seeing. I do want to show you something before you go, though. So not only this is a great way to compare the stats of every race. The whole point of the screen is to basically give you an overview. Okay, here are the stats. I want to. I want the most defense. I'm going to choose... I'm gonna choose the class with the most defense. So you come in here and you're just switch through and you'll be able to quickly find that. You know, this might be the most. Probably not. But you get it. So the bar is all relative. So the minimum here is whoever has the least. The max here is whoever has the most in terms of what numbers, whatever nerd stuff. Anyway, um, you could see forms. Let me show you that. Forms right here. You can see my aura comes on. I could switch through these right here. Particles right there. And I can switch through all of these. And basically, this allows you to get an idea of what your forms are going to look like, which I think is, you know, I think is important. One of the reasons a lot of people might not be playing anything but Saiyan, in our opinion, is specifically because, I mean, dude, who's to tell you that Namekian actually has forms? For all you know, they have base form. Ah, maybe they got that form. Maybe they got one, like, little fake power-up. Whatever, right? We try to keep it super balanced here, so do keep that in mind when you choose who you're going to play. As well as this, you can come through here and see your alternate forms and your Kaioken stacking of forms, which is great. So you'll be able to choose the race that you visually like the most, which is part of the character creation, right? Part of the big change of this update. Um, so moving on, I'm going to go ahead and start as a human. Uh, human and Saiyan character creation, basically the same, excluding the tail. So I will show tail coloring when I get to where that would be for Saiyans. But we're going to go straight into human. I, so I won't be covering human, Saiyan, and half Saiyan. I'll just be covering human and showing all the parts that Saiyan has as well. 
So come here. I'm going to go ahead and choose human. You can see I could choose my presets here on this page. You choose a preset. Boom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the um, just the normal guy. Seen him so much. All right, so here you're going to be choosing your body selections. On the left, you see your body visuals, and other options can be accessed via the tabs up here. And on the right, you can choose colors, which we'll go over shortly. So to start, this is the bog standard body design. I have Rook here, the designer who made the skins, to explain that to you. Hello, everybody. Um, so this one is more closely modeled to Toriyama's bodies. Actually, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we, we can go ahead and jump to the next one right here. This one is my take on anatomy. So this one was a lot of staring just at anatomical models and trying to fit them onto funny block guys. Yeah. Um, the next one is chunky. Um, that was back when I was getting used to shading. I'll probably do some adjustments later to make it still feel a bit more on the fluffy side without being kind of pillowy. Um, and right. the final one is females, and they're pretty much a mixture of looking at assorted anime women for large periods of time and... <laughs> large periods of time. In the evening. <laughs> no, no. And uh, more anatomical models. I have seen more of people under their skin than I would like to in a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll cover another thing that we've added. Uh, muscle definition allows you to basically just make the muscles less defined. Pretty, that's about it. You know, you can make them super um, dark if you wish or super light. Kind of just felt like it made sense. Um, getting to this final option, you have default Minecraft skin. This pretty much sacrifices some of the options. You'll notice some of my coloring options disappeared. You can pretty much only change your hair, hairline, um, body sizing as well as underwear and socks, which we'll be getting to shortly. I'll go ahead and just stick with this one for right now, and I'll show you guys skin color. You can, you got some presets over here, some um, natural skin tones uh, right there, so I'll go ahead and stick with this one. But you can go ahead and do some some funny stuff here. You can have yourself looking like you're a, uh, straight out of Dark Souls, really. I mean, no no better way to put it. Um, I can't wait to see some of, the, some of the creatures created here. But for now, I'll just stick with this. Alrighty, so I'm going to be showing you guys tail color. I'm cutting in in the middle of this. Um, so you can go ahead and change your tail color like normal. There is a brightness limit, however, so you cannot have a really colorful tail. One thing I'd like to mention, I am a Saiyan. If I was a half Saiyan, how can I color my tail? No brightness limit at all. You can color it all the way up. Um, next up, we have body size, which is pretty much what you'd expect. It allows you to scale your body up and down. Um, yeah, there's not much else to be said. These are just some simple presets all around the thing. You can go ahead and be here. 7 foot, 4 foot, 10. And you can go ahead and squeeze yourself down. Something I want to mention is body size is a little bad right now, uh, at least in my perspective. I'd like to change it to be uh, your arms and legs getting wider and thinner as you, uh, so to be a little bit more natural. But for now, it's okay and it might stay, but we'll see. Body scarring, uh, pretty self-explanatory. This one, you know, you just get some body scars. You can select up to three, as you can see right here. When you click one, it rotates the next one. So it'll just go one, two, three, start over one, two, three, and it will just replace it as it goes, right? You can get rid of all of them by just clicking none. But to look at some of them, probably inspired scar right there, some bullet holes, some more bullet holes, and some more bullet holes. Walked through the wrong Italian cafe, I tell you what. A little burn scar right here, a little impale scar kind of modeled off the uh which what you see on uh moro not moro goku from moro spoiler uh and then next up we have underwear right here so you can change your underwear color that's a another coloring option really uh come through here and choose whatever preset i'll just go ahead and do a uh, nice little aqua teal whatever um got some Underwear themes here, pretty pretty neat. Underwear patterns, if you will. There will be more of these. Uh, I, I think I've mentioned it already, but just in case I haven't, I will right now. But basically, we'll be adding more options as time goes on, leading up to the release of the update, uh, allowing us to come up with more. We just wanted to show you guys what we have now and how character creation works. There will be more options down the line. We'll likely post teasers with them, get you guys' input, that kind of thing. But moving forward, we have socks. Pretty, pretty simple here. You can go ahead and color those as you wish. Um, so if I go ahead and make these that color, I can match my underwear to my socks, vice versa as well. 
right there. I'll just go ahead and have some, some socks like that. So next, we're going to be choosing facial selections. Facial options on the left, colors on the right, same as before. Um, so first, we have hair. You know, you could be bald. You can turn off the hairline on the next page. Um, you can come in here, change your hairstyle. Boom, boom, boom. I will get to the hair editor after I'm done with the face options, just so this can be a contained segment of face. So we have a bunch of options here. Xylo gave me these presets. These are from the um, Gin Games Hair Salon catalog. We will be adding more presets in the future. We will be improving some of these presets and so forth. Um, I'll just go ahead and leave myself with this one right here. Let's go ahead and make my hair a slightly different color. So here we are as a Saiyan, we have hair color, right? Normally, Saiyans can only have black hair. We felt this, the hair coloring system and just coloring in general was pretty cool and we'd really rather it not not exist on every uh like you know on sayings so here we are you can go ahead and give yourself 10 percent brightness hair <laughs> so you can go ahead and just give yourself pretty much what you'd get from a hair dye you know you can call it hair dye um so you can come in here and give yourself colors i'll go ahead and give myself a a nice little turquoise turquoise so we're back here i'm just gonna go ahead and give myself some brown hair right there okay um we're gonna go ahead and change hairline you can see it gets rid of your hair visually um, just for the sake of this, two uh, blank uh, hairlines right there. Give myself that hairline or this hairline. So we're gonna, you know, uh, we're gonna have some some options here for you guys to choose. Uh, some, some hairlines. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, facial hair. This is one of my favorite parts, right? So you can see my character right here. Boom, boom. I love this beard. Uh, this one right here. Boom. Um, so facial hair right here you have you can go ahead and do you know the same level of coloring you have some some funny uh, blue facial hair right I'll go ahead and match hair color um, get to eye color in a second so you could choose your eyes here see this is a more feminine eye as I mentioned there's feminine um, facial features mixed in with masculine facial features so people can you know you can look however you wish um, right here boom boom Boom, boom. And I'll go ahead and show some of the eye coloring and how that can affect certain eyes because it's pretty neat. So uh, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But um, you can see this one's pretty bog standard. You know, you got a lot of eye options here, just preset colors. So we're going to go ahead and go to this one. This one, a uh, similar kind of business, nothing unique there. This one, however, if you have brighter eye colors, you'll notice the sparkles on the eye show up a little bit better whenever you have more bright eyes. Um, getting over to this one, this one's pretty neat. Um, that one doesn't do much, but looks cool. I, I think that's one of my favorite ones. Uh, this eye is really cool. Uh, if anyone can guess what anime character this is, it's a uh, lady. So if anyone can guess what anime this is from, as well as the character down in the comments, uh, I don't know. I'll give you a I'll give you a good job or something. Maybe maybe right. Go ahead and try to guess. Um, her eye color is normally around right there, very dull. So yeah, if you can guess, cool. Um, let me go ahead and do something here. So blue, and then let's go ahead and change the that the right eye. Don't talk about it. I understand the. Uh... Anyway, you can go ahead and color both eyes different colors if you so wish. It can look pretty neat there. Um, I'll go ahead and leave my eyes on this one once I'm finished, of course. So we can come through here, do some interesting stuff. This is like a Vegeta type eye. And this this one's also kind of interesting because you can come in here and you can do some interesting stuff. It's a vertical splitting of the eyes instead of horizontal. There will be a few more of these type. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and leave that one black. Come over to this eye, looks kind of neat. Um, now nose options, come through here, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, I think I prefer this nose. Um, this is also from an anime never guess it of course um so come through here mouth options bam 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 and bam there will of course be more uh some of these aren't gonna fit perfectly we did our best tried our best to make most of these fit pretty well within each other however there's obviously going to be the times where they don't fit well uh and that's just up to you to choose the best mouths um i'll go ahead and just choose this one right here uh, there's a mouth option here to color your mouth uh, basically lipstick so you can turn that on right there and you can just choose some of these presets um, and you can just go ahead and give yourself some lipstick effectively which uh, helps make a lot of the mouths that are less feminine more feminine 
Uh, some of these started with lipstick, and then we added this lipstick option just about a week ago. Um, and we believe it helps, especially for like uh, the Arcosian race. You know, it helps them a lot. So that's there's that. Um, getting on to facial scarring. Uh, go ahead and get rid of all my facial scars there. So these were a royal bitch to make. Okay, so you see this facial scar? It goes to the eyebrow. Pretty. It's a pretty neat detail. Um, I'm bringing it up because it was so annoying because I had to learn some new some new stuff to get it to work. Um, you can of course still have three scars on the face. Um, pretty cool combo. Which one was it? Was this one? This one? Nope. This one, this one, this one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look pretty cool right there. I'll go ahead and leave it right there. I'll show you guys these ones real quick. A little burn scar and a bigger burn scar right there. All right. And boom, boom, boom. Choose those. Looks pretty cool to me. Scarring intensity also exists here, mind you. I'll go ahead and leave my scars just like that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the hair editor. So with that, you just come here, choose hair editor. There's going to be a lot here. So again, if you want to skip ahead, just see what, what's next in character creation, feel free. But I recommend watching this. It's pretty neat. So here's my little character decapitated. You can go ahead and address. So my, I want to mention something. This is, in fact, still the DBC hair system, right? Uh, it's pretty much just remapped into this new editor. Okay. So you are able to use hairs off the DBC salon. You are also able to, you know, save a hair code from here and put it on there and it would still work in DBC. Um, I don't have any plans to change the hair codes right now, but if it's to improve and add new stuff to it, I will. But as of the 1.2.7 update, which this is coming in, uh, this will still work with base DBC hairs. So you can load up a hair, edit it a little bit if you want and go somewhere else and use it if you wish. Um, so, uh, and I, I do hope that this can help people make better hairs for not just Apollo, but anywhere, right? Go anywhere and use them. Uh, you have your little highlighted hair right here. Um, I do want to mention, God, a lot of disclaimers. You can also access this menu still with the barber scissors. You can, in fact, even access this menu and then go into the hair editor, change your hair, uh, choose a different preset, change the color, and choose facial hair. Cool. So facial hair and hairline, I believe. You can just, you know, get some scissors and change your hair and your hairline. Why not? So come back in the hair editor right here. And I'm going to show you guys some, some stuff we have here. So you can choose your different pieces. As you can see, they highlight. If I do select all, I can edit all of my pieces at once. So that is pretty neat. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. Go to the side of my head. Go ahead and just select all the side of my hair. Let me show you something kind of interesting, right? So let's make our hair kind of funny looking. Do some do some funny business right there if i mirror or changes it's gonna go all over there okay so that's pretty neat uh now what does this repeat changes button do i'll go ahead and show this so on the top of the head i'm gonna go ahead and click repeat changes right here um i can come in here boom boom oh oopsie it wasn't it was already on so i select it and i just come through here and i can choose all the hair that i want to repeat changes on so that's pretty neat uh I'll give you the ability to just overall do whatever you want with your hair there is still presets so you're just go ahead and click save boom it's saved and you go ahead and click preset files it will go ahead and save it to a new folder in config config apollo and then hair editor presets and they are each a text document that you can go ahead and use however you wish um, easy to read whatnot bam you can copy hair code paste hair code right here revert all the changes you made mind you i went into the editor and i, I made this one before so you know be careful with that. If you exit the hair editor, it uh, saves, right? So maybe make presets while you're working on the hair, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can also go ahead and click form list. Mind you, I'm a human, not a lot changes with their hair. If I was a Saiyan, you would see your hair go up. All right, so now that I have a funny little singular bang for my hair editor showcase, we're going to show you the next page. Auras. Uh, on the left, you can preview this race's forms. On the right, you choose this aura, your, choose your aura color and your inner aura color. Sorry about that. All right, so here we are. You see my aura here. Uh, you know, you can also flip through your forms uh, like that and you could still see your forms. Great. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change my aura color, right? I want, let's go ahead and go with a nice pink, maybe magenta, right? So here we are with that. What is inner aura color, right? This is a new thing that um, we've added. 
where you can come through here and you can go ahead and choose a second aura color for the inside of your aura. This was something already on certain forms and I've just go ahead and uh, given it the, it, it can work on base form, base, you know, base. Right, so here's that. There's really not much else to this page. Um, in the future, we might add some more aura options, maybe aura textures, maybe, um, I don't know, just more customization for your aura, maybe aura speed for your aura, stuff like that. Uh, do let us know if you have any ideas, but yeah, for now, that's the aura page. Next, we have the final page. Character creation is over. Simply give your character a name and you're ready to get started. Thanks for letting us explain it to you. Alrighty, so naming your character is as simple as giving him a name, a new Jared, right? Boom, your chosen character name is Jared. You can see all of your options over here. Um, it's really just nerd stuff. It's not really mattering to you, but if you wanna quickly show someone how you made your character, just get a snip of that, right? It doesn't include colors, but um, maybe it will in the future. So you can look at your character, give him a final look over. You can go back and change options. The only risk of breaking something is if you come here and click, like if I clicked preset number one right now, I'd be stuck with that guy. I'd go back to this guy or I'd go back to any of these guys. Hey there, one thing I want to cut in and mention, I just want to give a shout out to Rook for designing all the character skins. You heard him a little bit earlier in the body uh, selections stuff. So Rook designed pretty much every texture you see was designed by Rook. Uh, the menus themselves though were designed by Munchkin. The menus, the buttons, the blah, 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 all designed by Munchkin. They're both our designers. Um, they're great people. So if you want to thank them, please do down below in the comments. Um, thank you. Next up, we have Namekian. So, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and click Namekian. You can see our little presets here. I'll go ahead and start with this cool looking guy. So, um, yeah, we get right into it. There's three body types for Namekian. You can choose boom, boom, and boom, right? So, you know, just a normal one, a little bit different muscle, muscle layout, and then a feminine type, right? Uh, the feminine type does change the inner spot, stomach, if you will, to so be a little bit, um, tighter there uh, we can go ahead and change the, another option the mechian spots so you can choose between three layouts of the mechian spots this one right here this one and this one right so there we are on that i'm gonna go ahead and go with this one right here so go ahead and change body size i won't spend too much time on this um do watch the human walkthrough right before this uh, character creation wise uh chapter sorry because uh, that goes over some of the more general details. I'm just going to be showing a lot more of what Namekian has to offer. As well as just kind of making a Namekian character that I think looks all right. One thing I just forgot to mention, sorry, I'm circling back to Namekian. You can go ahead and obviously change your body color here. I feel like I didn't do it justice, just totally skipping over that. So here we are. We can go ahead and come in here and just go ahead and change that a little bit. Let's be neon green and just come in here. Right there, that's fine. So there you go right there. You know, you can obviously flip through here and change all of your colors as you wish. There's some presets here that look all right, and you can go ahead and choose from there your own um, character. Uh, you can customize them as you wish. Let's go ahead and give him some purple underwear. Um, no, no pattern. He's not that kind of guy. Um, match, boom. Come through here so we can choose antenna and fin. What does that mean? So we can be completely bald. Um, or we can come in here, change your antenna, bam, bam, bam. This is the same option right now, mind you. There will be more options, as stated many times, there will be more options. I'll go ahead and choose uh, this one, just kind of a standard one, and you can go ahead and change your fin. You got this one right here, this one right here, which is a slight variation with um, ribs on it, and then this one, little mohawk. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the little ribbed one, and yeah, so moving forward, we have you know, normal kind of eye options here. I won't bother going through all of that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my scars a um, little bit more visible. I think that looks pretty cool on the Mechians, actually. Scar coming from my antenna. Alrighty, so that's, um, there's not really much else to show for uh, Namekian. You know, we tried to give them, with this antenna and fin system, we tried to give them, because at some point we just had antenna, so I wanted it to be uh, a case that they had a couple things they could change and have more options. Mind you, there will be more antenna models and fin textures here so yeah with that in mind i'm going to go ahead and move to next up we have our favorite lizards so to get right into that a little bog standard freezer here right you can go ahead and change this color like this boom that's kind of cooler color this is um forget who uh this is another preset color we have and one more i'll go ahead and stick with this guy for the time being actually this guy's a little bit easier to look at 
Um, so this is body type two, sort of cooler inspired. Mind you, these bodies will change and expand as you go up in the Arcosian forms. Then you have this one right here. This is your more feminine type. Obviously it doesn't show, but I mean, they're lizards. So yeah, uh, the scarring does look a little odd. I will be honest there. Alrighty, so moving forward, um, showing you guys the colors here. I'll go ahead and be like this for right now. We can go ahead and change our horns. What does that mean? Well, you know, you have a bunch of horn options here. Clearly there's 20, there's not right now. There will be more later though. You can come through here, boom, look at them. That's kind of nice, kind of nice here. Munchkin made most of these, actually all of them, um, these little horn models. So let's see that. Mm -mm -mm. Obviously these are one of the coolest, needless to say, right? You can change your horn color as you wish, make them whatever color you want. There's a just a subtle coloring on it, just like the Saiyan hair is limited. You can color this to a certain point, same point actually, so you can make them look perfect to your character design. Uh, moving forward, this will be Inferno. I know, original. Next up, we have our favorite bubblegum fellas. So start here with this preset, here we are. And we will go through and just look at the body types. So you have the normal, these guys just inherit human body types. And yeah, they have the same options. And come over here, the feminine body type here. I'll just go ahead and be chunky for the sake of this one. Muscle definition, muscle definition, right? Yeah, um, come through here and edit that. They can move around their holes. You can have no holes and come in here, have that one, this one, this one, right over here. This guy with crazy amount of holes. There will be more options, of course. I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, these guys, like the Mechians, can choose both antenna and a second option. So you have here, this little one there. These were all made by Munchkin. Boom, little panda ears. Bam, bam. And bam I'll go ahead and go with this one for right now so you can go ahead and choose your hair whenever you choose hair they will be bumped up a little bit to better fit looks like there's a little bit of positioning error right there bam bam and bam that is <laughs> accidentally left that one nice it's a hair that had fake horns so that's funny um, so yeah the Majins have you know some nice head options to put them somewhat close to uh, the hair editor system for the humanoid races, uh, you know, human and the human body type. Guys with hair, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I did forget to mention right here that you can obviously color them. You can come in here and color them, boom, boom, boom. None of these options show it, but you can change your sub color right here. Which does that, it's basically just whole color. So I'll go ahead and make that a dark red. And you can come here and change the outline of the hole as well. So if you wanted to do that kind of deal, go ahead and do that. Bam. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it for Majin. That's, I mean, heck, that's pretty much it for the for character creation in and of itself. So that's going to be about it for the devlog. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, the system took a while to complete. Uh, we still have more to add, of course. Thank you all for your time. Um, thank you for your patience with the update. You know, we'll have more teasers coming here pretty soon. We're going to try to get a uh, more frequent flow of teasers for you guys so that you guys can um, have more stuff to tide you over with the wait because it is going to be a little bit longer. There's no coming soon, none of that. We'll give a release date with a definitive, uh, just, it's releasing then. The update will be done and we'll give you guys a release date and that will be that. Uh, simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are excited for character creation. Uh, it is super important to us um we're so happy that it's finally up to our quality standards i guess you know finally modern really i mean it, for a while it had just basically been dbc character creation with like some slight changes you know so i'm glad now it's more of our own thing and a lot more unique so yeah thank you for watching i appreciate you have a good day